Well, Celtic get the Coca-Cola Cup final underway. And we already have established that both sides depending on a sweeper system. David Neri at the back for Ray Rovers. Uh, perhaps a shade too far out, although John Collins and Charlie Nicholas are experts from these free kicks. Very well held by Thompson. A kind of confident catch to give a lot of confidence to his defenders. Well, John Collins hits a, a good free kick, but really all I think that achieves is really building up the confidence in the goalkeeper. He's, he'll be happy he's had a touch as early just in the game. There goes Cameron. Oh, that's good running. Chance on you for Ray Roberts. Superb effort by Cameron. He's brought the gun stand to life. The Ray Roberts supporters responding magnificently to this. Yeah, he's got tremendous confidence in his ability, and he's not all that far off the target. And obviously, that's the type of thing that Celtic will have to watch out for because he's good at breaking from that deep midfield role and get beyond it, the opposing defenders. First corner for Ray Throwers. Here's Crawford, a chance! That's the only goal for Ray Throwers! Stevie Crawford! And the Ray Throwers fans go wild! It's been a magnificent start to the match from Ray Throwers, capped by that goal from Stevie Crawford. Now Collins, Burnley again, Celtic probing, showing patience, looking for the openings, Walker, Collins, excellent goalkeeping, great move by Celtic, but credit due to Scott Thompson, his positioning was quite outstanding. That's a good play from Celtic, vintage McStay. Here's Boyd. Chance to run back in SP. It's off the post from Tom Boyd. Well, Ray Throwers for the moment riding the luck. Here's Boyd again. Showing his amazing stamina and running power already, Boyd. Another chance on this time must be the equaliser. Tandy Walker for Celtic. The goal's been coming. 32 minutes of the first half gone. And Celtic get the goal in his air. Yeah, you can see this coming up. And once again, it's Galloway's courageous enough to get in the middle. Good sensible header. And there's Andy Walker. Galloway's in space. Good running here by Walker. Cross goes Bridal. It's a great ball in. since he scored for Celtic, and this must be the closest yet. That was a great pass from Mike Gallagher, a superb cross by Andy Walker. Next day, he has to be careful here, he's in trouble, this is DL. The interception is made by O'Neill, Graham was breaking on the right. Paul McStay discussing the problem with his teammates there, he didn't have anyone at the right angle to play a pass to. This is Collins. It goes for Nicholas, that's Walker! And tapped in by Charlie Nicholas! Nicholas is surely now won the cup for Celtic! Six minutes left! Andy Walker hit the post, and Nicholas swooped for what surely will win the match for Celtic! So, Ray Throwers of the free kick, David Neri fights the ball in. One inside the area by O'Neill, that's Sinclair. Good play by Deer. A chance on here for the equaliser, and Ray Throwers have done it! It's got Deal! Quite incredible! season and the one you remember for a very long time the 
Jason Deer did the speed work. Yeah, very talented running. Look at the shot. Now, it's amazing. You know, God Marshall has had a safety mate. He won't enjoy watching that one, but there's Gordon Gale right on the spot. He said, I don't miss him from there. Look at that, look at there it is. Thank you very much. What a, what a final this is. Well done by Cameron. And the final whistle goes. We're into extra time. Good interception by Boyd. Here's Crawford. Strong, a loser running. Here's Sinclair now, the shooting chance. Steady himself. Well, wanting to walk right in, I think. Good effort though by Cameron. Well, Ray Throbers really believe they can win this. Surely the last opportunity of the match. Help on there towards the side netting. It is a goal kick. Mike Galloway was the player with the target. He wants a corner, he's not going to get one. And I suspect that will be the last attempt on goal until the penalty shootout. Referee Jim McCluskey checking his watch. And there it goes, the final whistle. It's a penalty shootout. Well, who would have expected or believed that? So five penalty kicks aside to sort this out, dealing with sudden death. With the noise growing for Sean Dennis and the Celtic supporters, Gordon Marshall on the line. Here's Sean Dennis. Scores with the first, calmly. Calmly finished. Sense of relief for the player who scores. Not too convincing, but he scored. Here's Collins. Well, two goals apiece. Nearly taken penalty by Collins. And it's a great penalty again. Hit very crisply and very accurately. He's done it. No chance at all for Thompson. So, Gordon Marshall in the line. And again, played pretty straight, but past the feet of Gordon Marshall. Oh, it's very well taken. And now it is effectively sudden death. The power was there. This is the tenth penalty kick. The tension virtually unbearable, I'm sure, for Galloway. Well, now, uh, half failure, I suspect, in the Celtic camp there. No mistake. Unthinkable, surely, for the skipper to miss. And she is now about to hand this trophy to Gordon Diel, who's back in position as captain of Ray Throbos. It's a fairy tale end. There's no question about that. Mrs. Penny Hughes hands the trophy to Gordon Diel and the Govan Stand Rats.